Hey everyone, so we are starting lesson 102. We are going to be solving problems involving inscribed angles. Sorry, the first page is a little got messed up. An inscribed angle, be, look if you look at the pictures at the bottom, is an angle with its vertex on the circle with two sides that are chords. So the angle, the vertex is on the circle, and then we have two chords. So the two, those two points are also on the circle. An intercepted arc is the arc that lies between the chords of an inscribed angle. So this is chords. Right. So this is your intercepted arc. The degree of the inscribed angle is equal to half the measure. So this is the key here. If your angle is, say, 50 degrees, unlike a central angle where they're equal, you're going to either double or divide by 2. So this would be 100. Right? It's always divide by 2 times 2. So if we have some measure of angle ABC is 50, that means arc AC equals 100. Uh, let's pick a different one. So let's say the arc is 80. What would be the angle? Divide by 2. So times 2, divide by 2. So 40 AC is 80. Right? Times 2, divide by 2. Just pay attention to what they're giving you. An inscribed angle intercepts a diameter, then it is A. So what if, what do you think, if we have a diameter here, what is this? That's 180. So what would be the a angle A equal to? Well, half of 180 is 90. What do we call a 90 degree angle? It's a right angle. So anytime you have a diameter, the angle made with it is always 90 degrees. Two inscribed angles intercept the same arc. Then the angles are, so look at this. They're asking about angle ABD. So ABD starts ABD. So it's this angle, right? What is the arc that goes with that angle? AD. So let's say the arc was 50. That means this angle in here is 25. Right? But then let's look at the other angle. What else has arc 50? ACD. ACD also has an arc of 50, which means this would be 25. So it's really, really common to see two inscribed angles making the same exact arc, which means they have to be equal. So my blue angle, ABD, has to be equal to my red angle, ACD, right? So the angles are equal. All right, so now let's solve some problems. So. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Pause the video. If my arc is 62, W, X, Y, this angle, what would that equal? Just divide by 2. So 31. That's it. Very, very straightforward. Can't get much easier than that. <clears throat> okay, now the opposite. Angle... D, E, F is 113, so what are we going to do? Are we going to divide by 2 or multiply by 2? Multiply by 2, so 113 times 2. So 6, 2, 2, 226, D, G, F. D, G, F, yep. So remember, angle times 2 or arc divided by two, either one. You really just like think about going back and forth. And I kind of look at it like, 
especially with if you look at number two, see this that's a really big arc, right? That if a whole circle is three sixty, it wouldn't make sense for that to be sixty six point five. It just that wouldn't make sense at all. All right, I want to test who is actually listening to me and who is just um, watching the video. So right now, I want you to draw a happy face. I'm going to look in your notes for a happy face next to number three. Draw a happy face next to number three. All right, the measure of angle PQR. Now, notice they don't give you anything here. So PQR. But we don't have any information, so look at the picture. This is a diameter. That means that this is 180, right? If it's a diameter, that's 180. 180. So we do 180 divided by 2, 90. Remember, whenever you have the diameter, it's half the angle. All right, this one's a little harder. So I usually just look at the picture first. I have 47. So what do I know about my arc? We multiply our angle by 2, right? Angle times 2. So 47 times 2, 14, carry the 1, 94. What else do we know? Well, over here, we have a diameter which means this red side is 180. So what do we do to figure out BC? Well, the entire circle is 360, so I'm going to do 180 plus 94. 274, subtract that from 360. Five, ten, six. 86. And that's my answer. <clears throat> All right. All right, so let's see. Pause the video, see what you can do with this. So I have 65 and 53. So that means I can figure out this arc. All right, I know this entire arc right there. So let's do that. 65 and 53 is 118. I'm going to subtract that from 360. So 5, 242. So this big red one is 242. JKL is this angle, right? So what's the re relationship between the arc and the angle? I need to divide by 2, 121. That's it. All right. Now, when I look at this one, I automatically think, oh, I have two arcs that are shared. So we have this angle, this blue angle, and this red angle. And they, so I know these are going to be equal. So my, my guess is that's going to come up. I haven't done this problem yet. All right. And I also notice that I have 139. 75 and 64. I'm able to figure out that by adding those and subtracting from 180. So let's see, 64, oh I shouldn't write in yellow, I want to do red. 64, 75, and 139. Let's see what we got. That's 9 plus 9 is 18, carry the 1. It's 14, 15, 16, 17, carry the 1. All right, so 278. Subtract that from 360, our entire circle, to 82. So this is 82. Let's see what it's actually asking me. RST, that's this angle, so it was actually asking what I was guessing. RST, so we divide our arc by 2, and we get 41. So this one's 41. R-U-T is also 41. Can you guys hear my dog howling? I have to pause this video and let her in. Those Both those angles are 41. That's it. All right, last slide. I want you to pause the video and make up an equation for yourself. 
So we have 158 right here and 8x minus 9. So I know they're not equal, right? I know 158 does not actually equal 8x minus 9. So I need to do something. I need the either times 2 or divide by 2 somewhere. So where should we put it? Well, it doesn't actually matter. Um, I think it's easier to think about it as take the number. If I want to make that into an angle, what do I do? I have to divide it by 2. So I'm, I did 79 equals 8x minus 9. Basically, I take what's the number instead of what's the equation. I, th I just think it's easier. So I divide it by 2. You also could have done 158 equals 2 times 8x minus 9. Either way, you'll get the same answer. So I'm going to solve for x. 88 equals 8x. Divide by 8, and I get x equals 11. And that's all it's asking me for. Done. All right, same idea. Pause the video. So again, there are two options. I take the number and I change the number. So I'm given 67 degrees as my angle. So to turn an angle into an arc, we're going to do times 2. So 134. 14, carry the 1. Yep. So 134 equals 4x plus 58. So I did 2 times 67. You also could have done 67 equals 4x plus 58 divided by 2. We could take the arc and divide by 2, which is what we did in number 7. Either way, I think this is easier but you can do anything, you, you can do these either way. Subtract 58 on both sides. 4x equals, let's see, that's 14, 6, 76. Divide by 4, x equals 19. And that's it, that's this lesson. All right, have a fabulous day. Do your homework. It's 102, not 101. I just kept forgetting to change everything on this, didn't I? All right, bye, guys.